Every day I read the news looking for stories to bring you. And every day I see certain, should we say, news articles that really shouldn't be there. And they're just designed to try and scare and panic people. And as you go along, you realise you have to take your news from various different sources to form your opinion. And the days of believing what the BBC, ITV and all the other mainstream media outlets tell you is long, long gone. <laughs> How do everyone welcome back to the channel for a Monday hope you're doing all right time coming to you live from my living room again here do you like my tire stack here well it's a inflatable thing but uh, yes it's all about tires when you drive on the road especially at winter time and you have to watch how fast you're driving and what everybody else is doing it's the same thing we get every time a bit of snow falls on the ground well yet again the old panic merchant mainstream media are trying to make a big thing of it. Look at this. It's getting a bit boring all this now, isn't it? They're just picking on anything they can to try and send us into a state of apoplexy, panic, worry, whatever you want to call it. But the fact of the matter is, we need to start gaining some perspective on all this. You look at the recent trouble we've had. A little dropped comment in the mainstream media that we're running out of fuel. And then we create our own fuel shortage that never happened in the first place. There's an apparent lack of uh, lorry drivers in this country. I see loads of the buggers every day driving up and down the motorways, but... There is a real big problem with lorry drivers. The pay is crap and the conditions are crap. Whereas a lot of other people blame Brexit. I, I did a video a short while back, which has got thousands and thousands of views now, where I literally just read out a first-hand account from a lorry driver. Fact. And everyone's going, it's Brexit, it's Brexit. Oh, do fuck off. It's getting tiresome now. And then we get Christmas being picked on. There'll be no turkeys, there'll be no stuffing. Pigs in blankets will run out. Now all the idiots will go down Tesco's and clear the shelves of the crisps, the chocolate, the everything, you know. And now they're talking about a shortage of gritter lorry drivers, saying that the roads will be icy death traps. I drove through the beast from the east. I've driven through other horrible road conditions that we've had. And the gritter lorries that we do have get round and they get the job done every year. Yes, there are cycles and there are roads which are icy death traps. But at the end of the day, if you're not confident of driving on those roads, just stay at home. Let everybody else do their jobs. We have to remain calm. You'll see I'm trying to maintain a calm voice to impart calm. That's what we all have to be. We have to ignore all this scaremongering crap in the papers. That's what it is. It's going to cause us all to go out and panic and cause our own problems like we have with the fuel shortage. Take it easy, everybody. It will all work out. We'll all get our Christmases and everything else. Take care of each other. Look after yourselves. And check your sources of news. Don't believe what one place tells you. Look everywhere, all the time. Don't believe the crap that the MSN feeds you. Anyway, I'm off. See you later with another one. Toodaloo.